Today in this beautiful occasion, I'm here to talk about one of the important subject which is need to be discussed in this contemporary world. Initially, I am coming across this issue, across this matter on the basis of an hadith of Rasulullah which is narrated in different narrations. And the hadith is that because we are living in the time where we can find a plenty and galleons of sects within the Islam religion. The hadith is that the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam precisely uttered before thousand four hundred four hundred years is that قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم افترقت اليهود على إحدى وسبعين فرقة the the Yahud Jews are divided into seventy one sect وافترقت النصارى على ثنتين وسبعين فرقة and as well as that the Christians are divided into 72 sects. And Rasulullah sallallahu says that تفترق أمتي على ثلاث وسبعين فرقة My community will split into 73 sects. 400 years before the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa spoke descriptively about the, the sectarianism which will evolve the, his community of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and one of the interesting fact and stunning about this hadith is that this hadith is reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, and also the different narration is all there. And uh, Imam Tirmidhi rahimahullah is mentioned in his, in his uh, one of the authentic kitab. The same and different narration is that. لا يأتيان the Rasul Allah says that لا يأتيان على أمتي ما أتى على بني إسرائيل definitely my community will bring the same what the Banu Israel brought into his community and also تفترق بني إسرائيل على ثنتين وسبعين ملة نعال as well as the Banu Israel are divided into the twenty seventy two sects and Allah the Rasul Allah says that Satafteriku, Satafteriku, my community will split, Ummati, my community will split, Ala Thalas in Wasabarina Milatan, twenty into the twenty seventy three sects. This is what Rasulullah says in another, it's reported by another narration, and it's, it's also mentioned by Imam Tirmidhi Rahimahullah in his Sahih Kitab. And the, following this incident, the Sahaba campaign of Rasulullah sallallahu asked about. And, uh, and Rasulullah said that in every uh, the hadith that he mentions about the 20, 73 sects is that every, every sect, 73 sects will enter into the hellfire except one. Except one sect which will enter into paradise. The following that, regarding to that, the Sahaba who surrounded in his majlis asked the Rasulullah وسلم, which is the sect which will enter into paradise? The time the Rasulullah said that. In one narration, he said that ma ana Ali he was Sahabi, and another narration, and which is reported in with uh, the different muhaddith, and it says that Ahlu Sunnah wal Jamaa precisely said by the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it's that uh, one one sect which upon me and my Sahaba. This is Al Jama'ah in, in another narration. The Rasulullah says Al Jama'ah, only Al Jama'ah, the group, and the Imams are described that that is the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And also, it is interesting every sect which is divided, and after the few generation, and it profess that still now that we are the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. It is really important and see and paramount to interpret this Hadith. Not from us to take the interpretation which is interpreted by the scholars by the few after the few generations of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One of the interesting fact regarding to the hadith is that Imam, one of the mufassir, 
Ismail Haq al-Barusi rahimahullah says in uh, Ruh al-Bayan is that Man hum ala ma ana alihi wa sahabi which is the sect what is the sect that me upon that sect and my sahaba and he said that yani the, the purpose of this or the meaning of this hadith is that ma ana alihi wa sahabi min al i'tiqadi wal fi'li wal qawli the sect which i am and my sahaba in the matters of faith the foundation of the faith and all fairly in his actions of the faith, it, then and all qawli and the, the sayings of the faith. In whoever divided or contradict with that, who are will enter into the hellfire. And who, whoever upon sternly upon this sect, which is uh, following the Rasulullah and his jama'ah, his uh, companions through his foundations, what he believed, what he taught as a beliefs and also and his actions and his code that is fahu al haq that is a true millet a true sect that is described by rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and also it is a tariqun musin ila al jannati wal fawz wal falah and this is the way that you can reach into the paradise and also into victory in this dunya in the akhirah and also imam uh, ismail haq al barusi rahimahullah says that wa ma adahu batinun the other, the, the sect other than this, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah is, is invalid. And also says that وطريقun, it is also the way to the Ilan Nar, to the, to our, the hellfire. وَإِن كَانُوا إِبَاحِينَ فَهُمْ خُلُودٌ Whoever make, which is foundational, uh, make the permissibility that uh, making shirk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will be in a turn, they let them make their uh, seat in hellfire eternally and also wh whoever not doing so they are bid'ah and also uh, also in by interpreting this hadith Imam uh, Imam Abdul Qahir bin Tahir bin Muhammad bin Baghdadi rahimahullah the, the Musannif author of the one of the extraordinary work about the 73 sects very few uh, after January, after the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he wrote al al firaq bain al firaq. You will find in that case every sects that divided as a twenty three sect. Also, he mentions the proofs and evidence and why it is out of religion, why it is within religion but is heresy, and why within religion it is deviated. And he says that, uh, but. Yeah, and also he mentions that every 20, 72 sects are will enter into the hellfire دون الأنواع التي اختلف فيها إمة الفقه unless the, the fact in where the, where the imma of the, the scholars are deferred uh, the, the scholars of the fiqh are deferred in the matters of من الفروع الأحكامي and the, the legal derivations في أبواب الحلال والحرامي in the chapters of the the prohibitions and the permissibilities uh, this group is what is a saved sect and فِرْقَةٌ نَازِيَةٌ he mentions and also regarding to the hadith Imam Nabi Rahimahullah says that اختلاف في الدين ثلاث أقسام he classified the differences which take place in the deen into the three uh, three part. First one, إثبات الصناع صاري وحدانيتي, and establishing, affirming the the belief in the sani, the Creator, وحدانيتي in its unity, and وإنكار ذلك to deny or to oppose that that is kufr, that is a politis, politism. Whoever oppose this, the وحدانيتي, the unity of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala or the oneness of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, or its the, and its self creator he is, uh, is considered as a uh, the kafir and wathani, the second part of is that fi sifatihi wa mashiatihi to establish his belief on his attributes and mashiat in his uh, in his intentions wa inkar wa bid'atan whoever deny that whoever oppose this he is a bid'ah he is a deviant or heresy wathani, 
The third group is it's very important to note that the Imam Nabi Rahimahullah says that في أحكام الفروع whoever deferred in the legal derivations المحتمل which has a possible to the وجوهن the haram and the halal the they the imams of fiqh jurists are founder in the Quran and Sunnah where they made the legal reasoning and bring this is the halal and haram and also for هذه what are they deferred in the ahkam the furu ahkam جعله الله تعالى رحمة وكرامة لعلماءه. This is the mercy of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. He made to the ulamas. It is permissible to the ulamas. And also, وهو and also he says that it is the intention of the the hadith. The رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اختلاف أمتي رحمة. The difference of my community is رحمة. And it is said, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says in another hadith that الاختلاف في هذه الأمة رحمة للناس that difference in my community is the mercy to the people who following this this sect al Ahl Sunnah wal Jamaa and and also al ittihaf sadat al Muttaqin one of the fine and one of the explanation kitab or book to the 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 Ihya Ulum al-Din where the authors says clearly that by explaining Ihdina Sirat al-Mustaqim the meaning of Sirat al-Mustaqim is that one who follow the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his Sahaba and also the Imma and he mentions that therefore it is by by this it is clear that and is precisely said by the ulamas that Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah is that the Firqatun Najia, which is saved sect. You know why? Because uh, by dividing into 73 sects, every uh, 72 sects which will enter into the hellfire will are still professing that we are the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Therefore, our ulamas precisely uh, said that and give the ex, uh, explanation and interpretation to the hadith and also the hadith and some of the we can also uh, bring the, the Wahhabi sect under this group because uh, the Wahhabi sects also is the followers of the Muhammad Abdul Wahhab and Najdi because وقد خالف أهل السنة والجامع في كثير من مسائل الارتقاد والعملية وقال في أول خطبتهم and they differed in in the the matters of the اعتقاد in the matters of the foundation beliefs of Islam والعملية in its actions of Islam and the محمد بن عبد الوهاب النجدي says said in his first خطبة in first orientation that ومن توسل بغير الله فقد أشرق بالله ولو محمد. He says that whoever made tawassu intercession with Allah without Allah subhanahu wa taala, he is made a shirk. Because the if you if you go through the seventy two sects, you will find that one and each other are making takfir, making the politism in each other. If you come to the the Shia sects.